Hi, my name is Nat Richards. I'm from Tex on the Move. I'm here with Lee Wilkinson. He's uh, from Audi Centre Sydney, I guess now. Originally from uh, Nissan and Land Rover. And whereabouts in the UK? Uh, Bradford, West Yorkshire. Cool. So uh, basically, we're taking this opportunity to catch up here at Audi Centre Sydney, where Lee's been working for about 10 months now, uh, to give a little bit of a behind the scenes peek as to you know, what you might expect out of your experience or uh, certainly share Lee's experiences because we found this to be a really powerful way of breaking down people's fears and, uh, and anxieties and uh, you know, making this, this whole process a little bit more relatable and a bit more human. So uh, Lee uh, called me first from Coogee Beach, which is not too far from where we're standing right now. Um, so you were here for family holiday, I think, Lee. I was here for a wedding in November. Mm -hmm. uh, we're staying in Bondi, but we visited Coogee Beach for a day. And yeah, we just had a brilliant day and uh, looked into living here, working here, and then found text on the move and then giving that a ring. Yeah. Uh, we had a little bit of a conversation uh, while I was sunbathing. Yeah. And then Which was funny for me because all I remember is, hello mate, I'm here and I don't want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That Which was, was true. sounded like Shrek then. But. <laughs> and eventually, I live in Coogee now, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, I love it that much. Um, so, with your uh, your whole experience, mate, you started out uh, working holiday visa. I started out on a four one seven. Yep. Yeah. Came then, out in February. Uh huh. Yep. And then changed uh, recently changed over to a four five seven mm -hmm. in July. So that allows me to live and work in Australia for four years, as long as I stay at Albert Centre Sydney at the moment. Yep. Yep. So for those watching it at, at home, of course, uh, four five seven has now been abolished. Uh, so Lee was one of the last to uh, to jump on that visa before it was gone. Uh, so that would be a four eight two now. Of course, you don't need to worry about that. No. Um, so uh, basically, uh, what uh, I wanted to kick off the conversation about Lee's experience with is um, the, the anxieties or some of the challenges that you thought you were going to have before you got here for the first time. You know, what was on the top of that list? Moving to the other side of the world on your own. Yeah. Definitely. Not knowing many people in Australia and yeah, pretty, pretty much quitting your job and packing your stuff up and sending it over. And then getting on a flight on your own, traveling 24 hours to come here not knowing what you're going to expect not knowing the working environment, where you're going to be living for the next month or so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was probably the biggest challenge. Yeah. And uh, definitely changing manufacturer as well, with working on Land Rovers in Nissan, and then going to a German manufacturer. But they're all very helpful yeah. and easy to, pretty easy to work on. Okay, so let's let's step some of that out. Uh, the, the easy one there is your working environment. So uh, how have you found this place? Amazing. The technology, the equipment, everything is on point. Yeah, which is brilliant. Yeah, and the, it makes the makes the job of being a mechanic a lot easier, especially with all the special tools yep. and all the online training and stuff that we've uh, equipment that we've got. And the workshop itself, does it feel similar to what you'd expect out of a uh, British workshop? Um, it's quite similar to some. I've seen some Audi garages back at home, and it's pretty much the same setup. But yep. it is a very modern garage mm -hmm. workshop. Yeah. Okay. And um, your fear about what was going to happen through the first little bit of your experience there? Uh, oh, well, that's not knowing where I'm going to live. <laughs> yeah. So how did that shake out for you? Uh, all right. At first, um, stayed at uh, Merton. That like, Audi put me up for for a week, yeah. and then I moved out into a hostel. I had a brilliant couple of months in a hostel, yeah. and then eventually uh, found a place in Kudji, and now I'm living there. I've been there for around about six months now. Yeah. Okay. So, of course, you don't have to go and stay in a hostel if you don't want to. That's Lee's thing because he's a bit of a party lad. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy staying in the hostels, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> um, yeah, plenty of different opportunities available there. But um, I, as Lee and I were just saying uh, off camera, the bottom line, I think, is flexibility, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, from your experience is what you learned, I guess, and this may have been the case for everybody. Um, rolling with the punches a little bit and, and being a little flexible at first can give you, um, you know, a little less headache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, how about uh, you know, other things that you've faced along the way, mate? Is there anything that stands out that you feel was uh, you know, sort of something that you've overcome that uh, you, you thought was going to be challenging? Um, definitely my social skills. Mm -hmm. Definitely more sociable as out here because it's it's easier. It's easier to meet people. People are friendly. You can get talking more. Mm -hmm. um, big groups of friends out here, so you get in with a big group of friends, you're easier to meet people. So how have you met people? Um, through work, through hostels, yeah. social media. Yeah. Um, just out and about socialising in pubs, yeah. bars, restaurants. Yeah, getting up to no good. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are the people that you've been hanging out with Australians or have you uh, gone um, overseas or a bit of both? A bit of both. A lot of uh, nationalities out here. 
especially with working here as well, there's quite a few nationalities. Yeah, sort of right in the centre of Sydney. Yeah. yeah, so you've got lots of different nationalities that you can mix with, socialise with, so it's quite good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any plans on going home? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stick it out, ride it out, hopefully get my permanent residency. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, best things about living in Australia? Beaches, sun. Yeah. Uh, you can be fair. The wages we, as well. We've been complaining about the lack of sun recently, so you uh, have become uh, an Australian. At the moment, yeah, there isn't, there hasn't been much sun for a while. Yeah. I haven't visited a beach in a while, so I'm looking forward to summer coming. So it's important to note that you know, we're not all the, the beach bunnies that we get made out to be uh, you know, through uh, popular uh, media and all that stuff. There, there is some crappy weather, unfortunately, that's taken on, on your stride here in Australia. But I think the difference is in uh, Australia, or certainly in Sydney, yeah, winter is not winter by UK standard by any stretch, right? No, but it still does get cold at some, on some nights, it does get cold. Yeah. But it's nothing like the UK, you know, there's no snow, no ice. Yeah, so never never chipped any ice off your windscreen? No. No. And there's no salt on the roads either, so the cars aren't corroded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Balls do come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, mate. Um, anything you did not like here about Australia? At the moment, just missing, just family and friends. I wish I could just pick them all up. Yeah. Plunk them here, yeah. and then yeah, probably be set for life. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a challenge that isn't going to go away. No, yeah, fair enough. Unless you can convince them all to jump Unless out. I can convince them all to come out, but I yeah. doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, okay, no worries. Let's leave it there, mate. Yeah, thank you so much. No, you're welcome.